Most of you watching this will probably have heard me talk about the eco floor. And this is this idea of the, the eco floor, which is the, um, the use of uh, organic material that might otherwise be found in or around a hollow tree as the actual floor of the beehive. Uh, this idea is, has been developing uh, over the last few years. Various people have tried different experiments, which is great, and that's what I'd like to see. Um, I'm getting more and more interested in the potential interactions between uh, bees and fungi. So to that end, I'm doing some experiments, and here's a couple of them here. Uh, on the right, you can see this is, this is called a, a totem. This is a, a fungus totem, and you can probably tell that it's made up from one, two, three, four different slices, four slices of a tree that was recently felled and in between each slice of wood there is a layer of straw which is impregnated with mushroom mycelium. Um, there is uh, shiitake and I think it's mainly shiitake and oyster in this, this one here and the idea is that the, uh, the, 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 the mycelium will grow into the wood over a period of time and that should produce some interesting uh, fungi um, from the sides, from the gaps there in those, uh, in those logs. And right beside it here, this is one of Brother Adam's old modified Dadent hive boxes which is well past its use by date, it's quite rotten. And I've uh, about half filled it with barley straw and I've put some mushroom mycelium in there to see what I can grow. This is actually a, a blue-grey oyster mushroom, grow, hopefully growing in here. Um, only done it a few days ago, so there's nothing to see yet. This box will actually have a few more layers added to it to bring it up to the top. Uh, so layers of straw, layers of uh, mushroom mycelium, which I'm growing. So just to give you an idea of um, how I've been doing this, this is a... Uh, a jar of mushroom mycelium that I've grown but for this purpose and it's grown on our uh, organic rye oh, is it or is this one now this one's been grown on wild bird seed as it happens so I'm just going to dig around in it loosen it up a bit and then I'm going to spread it on this barley straw This is a pretty good strong strain of um, blue oyster, so I'm not too worried about contamination, although that's always a, a problem when growing microorganisms like this. Um, you're always <clears throat> at risk of getting other things growing in there, but this is, a, as I say, a quite a vigorous strain, so I'm quite happy to spread it around on this straw knowing that it will take hold pretty quickly and I've got a bag of barley straw here I think I might just do this off camera and uh, come back in a second so I'll spread another layer of barley straw on top of that one and I'm going to put the rest of the mycelium from the jar, break it up a bit so that it spreads quickly through this straw and now I'm going to put some more straw on top to protect it a bit, give it some more material to grow through, of course this is, the straw itself provides the, uh, the food that the mycelium needs for its growth. There we go. So I shall add some water to that, dampen it down a bit and leave it to grow and that will take probably two or three weeks before anything very much um, is, uh, is happening in there. But we'll see how that goes and I should do another video, see what we get in the way of fruit or um, oyster mushrooms otherwise known as and I'm very interested to see if the bees take any notice of this. Uh, this is, uh, I'm actually at one of my apiaries 
here and there's as you can see there's there's a number of hives around different types and um, so I'm interested to see if the bees pay attention to either of these once they start um, fruiting once they start producing some signs of uh, of growth uh, I'd be interested to see what the bees make of them if anything and whether they visit them at all I've also got over this over the other side of the apiary here I've got a patch of ground which I've prepared and this little patch here is prepped for another mushroom which is um, Strafaria. Strafaria rugos annulata I think it's Latin name uh, and uh, this bed well hopefully this will produce some um, some mushrooms as well and again I'd be very interested to see if the bees pay them any attention and to see mainly if they start to take an interest in the mycelium uh, which is the part that grows in the ground rather than the mushrooms themselves which of course the fruiting body of the mycelium the main structure of the uh, of the fungus is, is below ground so look forward to some follow-up videos on that see what happens